when we used to hunt, we used to create hormones because our bodies are designed to work off hormones, which send signals to the brain, which the brain reacts to, and then we develop skills. With the skills, we develop jobs, create infrastructures, grow money, infrastructure. Everything I've done, or everything I do, has got to get harder and harder and harder. Now, if I do a circuit, I've got to make it one harder. I've got to challenge myself, I've got to push myself. I've always got to try to touch them parts that I don't think is possible. Everything's disciplined to when you wake up in the morning to when you go to sleep. When you get out on the road and you start your life again, everything's disciplined. You've got to go to the gym. You gotta eat healthy food. You gotta do this, you gotta do that. You gotta do this, you gotta do it. Everything, the discipline. What people fail to focus on, I see, is the creating the hormones to produce positive actions. The body's not creating hormones for your brain to switch on and start being proactive. It's becoming suggestive of hibernation to conserve energy so it can continue to survive. If you switch that now and you go to the gym, right, and you're in the gym and you're hitting targets in the gym and your heart's racing, right, and you're sweating, your endurance, your adrenaline, your muscles, everything's working beautifully. You leave the gym after a couple of hours, you feel fantastic. You start feeling different. So then you feel, this is good, I'm gonna do this then you've got the positive receptors of waking up, the brain's alive, and it starts doing positive things. I can't run. So it doesn't make sense getting sad or depress myself or keep telling myself, I wish I could go for a run. I wish I could go for a run. I wish I could go. Oh, I wish I could run, you know. Oh, I'd love to go running. <laughs> I'd be super fit if I could run. The only thing that's holding me back is not running. Like, I'd be depressed, but... I accept the fact that I can't run because it causes too many other injuries. You ultimately progress into an environment where it's positive receptors all around you. I used to believe that I'd be able to fight any professional athlete, even the elite boxers. And then obviously when I got into boxing, I started training and sparring with all the like, world-class and some elite, you realise that they were the next level of fitness. Like, and I wouldn't have been able to get in the ring and beat up one of them elite people back in the day when I was drinking and doing all sorts of madness. It was just a common belief because of my own superior mentality. Um, yeah, their extreme fitness and the elite members are just something to be admired. The only advice I could give anybody is the same advice that I'd give myself. So I would focus on what they believe is the most important thing to them in their world, their life and their existence. And I convince myself, this is what I do, <laughs> I just convince myself that if I don't achieve this goal, then they are actually going to die and their life's over and it's finished. And that gives me my drive. And that's what gets me up now because I think, well, they can do it and they're only human. It's a driving force behind it all.